Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel S Chemistry. My name is Sonal and in today's video we are going to discuss top 15 basic chemistry interview questions and answers. So let's get started. First question is what is a one mole? A mole is the amount of a substance containing 6.02214 into 10 to the power 23 particles that is 1 mole is equal to 6.02214 into 10 to the power 23 particles and this particular number is also known as the Avogadro's number. Second question is what is molarity? So molarity is the number of moles of a solute that are present in 1 liter of a solution. Molarity is represented by capital M which is equal to N that is number of moles of the solute divided by V which is volume of the solution and this volume is given in liters. The third question is what is titration? Titration is a technique where a solution of known concentration is used to determine the concentration of an unknown solution. The titrant which is the known solution is added from a burette to a known quantity of the analyte. The analyte is the unknown solution until the reaction is complete. Knowing the volume of titrant added allows the determination of the concentration of the unknown. Also an indicator is used in order to signal the end of the reaction which is called the end point. Fourth question, what are isotopes and state their uses? Isotopes are two or more atoms of an element with the same atomic number but they have a different numbers of neutrons in their nucleus. For example, uranium-235 and uranium-239 are two different isotopes of uranium. Uses of isotopes in medicine. An isotope of cobalt is used to treat cancer. Industries as an isotope of uranium are used in nuclear power plants to generate electricity and also isotopes can be used in agriculture. Fifth question, what are solute, solvent and solution in chemistry? Solution, a solution is a homogeneous mixture of one or more solutes dissolved in a solvent. Solvent is the substance in which a solute dissolves and produces a homogeneous mixture. This mixture is called a solution. The material of the solvent usually decides the physical state of the solution that is whether the solution is solid or it, it is liquid or it is a gas. And finally solute is the substance that dissolves in a solvent and produces a homogeneous mixture. What do you understand by the term aliquot and diluent in chemistry? That is our sixth question. Aliquot, the term aliquot specifies the measured sub-volume of the original sample and diluent, the term diluent specifies the material with which the sample is diluted. What do you understand by the photoelectric effect? This is the seventh question. When the emission of electrons by electromagnetic radiation strikes a metal surface, this process is called the photoelectric effect. In the photoelectric effect, the electrons emitted are known as photoelectrons. Mention the formula to calculate pH of a solution is the eighth question. So in order to calculate the pH of a solution, you have to use the formula pH is equal to negative log of concentration of H plus ions or pH is equal to negative log of the concentration of hydronium ions which is H3O plus ions. Ninth question is what is oxidation and reduction reaction? 
oxidation and reduction both can be defined in various ways i have put forward all of them let's start with oxidation when there is a loss of hydrogen or electrons also it can be defined as the gain of oxygen this particular reaction is oxidation you can also define oxidation as an increase in the oxidation state of a particular species reduction when there is gain of hydrogen or electron or you can say there is loss of oxygen these type of reactions are known as reduction reactions you can also define it by saying a decrease in the oxidation state Tenth question is what are ionic and covalent bonds? Ionic and covalent bonds are chemical bonds in chemistry which holds the molecule together. Ionic bonds occur when one atom loses an electron to another atom. This creates a positively charged ion on one side and a negatively charged ion on the other side. Covalent bonds occur when two atoms share electrons with each other. They create a shared pair of electrons between the two atoms. Eleventh question is what are allotropes? Allotropy is the existence of a chemical element in two or more forms which may differ in the arrangement of atoms in the crystalline solids. For example, diamond, graphite and fullerenes are allotropes of carbon. Twelfth question, what are acids? If a substance has a pH value less than 7, it is called acid by nature. The pH of an acid is determined by the concentration of hydrogen ions, that is H plus ions, the substance contains when it is in a solution. The higher the concentration of H plus ions makes the pH lower and the substance is more acidic. Thirteenth question, what is valency? The atoms of every element tend to combine with the atoms of another element in order to form a molecule. An atom of each element has a definite combining capacity which is known as its valency or valence. For example, in methane, carbon has a valency of 4. In ammonia, nitrogen has a valency of 3. The 14th question, what is the periodic table? The periodic table is an arrangement of all the elements known in accordance with their increasing atomic number and recurring chemical properties. Over here, you can also add some details in terms of who invented the periodic table, what are groups, what are periods. And the 15th question is, what is a catalyst? Catalyst is a substance that increases the rate of a reaction without itself being consumed. Enzymes, for example, are naturally occurring catalysts responsible for many essential biochemical reactions. So these were the top 15 questions that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope this video was helpful. In case it was, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for such content ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.